Hi everyone, this is 42% Noir and in this short tutorial I'd like to share with you a patch uh, that I think is quite simple and interesting because it combines some procedural coding using JavaScript with some matrix jitter. Usually when we work only with jitter we try to make sophisticated uh, operations on the matrix that affects that affects all the vertices or all the coordinates yeah. of our matrix, but with JavaScript we can create more procedural coding so to develop how the matrix will be populated and change with time. And as long as we're doing only few operations each time, when I say few it can be hundreds, but you know, not changing every pixel or every coordinates vertex in, in our matrix, then then we're fine in terms of of the speed. For example, in that way, press new tree and create a tree by starting to draw points into the matrix. And what you see here is basically that each row that is populated is a branch from the tree. And once in a while, there will be a function that we call called new branch, which will create another branch in the tree. And then after a while, we can see that there are more and more branches created with some random orientation. Now you can also see that after a while I can, for example, add another noise that can make things more chaotic but kind of interesting and in some way it looks like creating leaves in our tree by some stochastic movement of the branches. Uh, so that's a nice result, but very, very simple code. So I'll just go to the main bit so you can easily navigate inside and create your own staff result. So you can register the matrix here with its name, so you can easily then control the same way you control JIT matrix from outside, you can control inside. The code itself is very simple. It's made, it's two functions mainly. The, the one that create branches and the one that increment all the branches. So if I press bang, it will start increment all the branches. So it will iterate all the, over all the branches and, and increment them according to some rules. But the rules are very simple. This rule is one line that creates a new point. We will just now need to know what happens when we create a new branch. So when I press, when I send the message new branch, it will start a new branch. It will pick a random uh, branch from our tree, and from this one, he will say, "Okay, this is our split point. Create a new orientation randomly." And now I limit the orientation to be only upward, so y-axis will be only positive. And then I have new orientation, so I push a new orientation to the to the array of orientation. I push to another array that called tree last that tells me what is the last point at the moment is the split point. And then I also push how many points are in this branch, and this is zero because it's a new branch. And then I'm I can for example call the matrix this matrix and tell him tell it uh, set cell same way as you would do it max and add the point and increment the branch numbers and in the bang it's kind of the same we pull back the orientation according to the branch because it iterates over the branches and add a new point according to the last point of the tree so it takes the last point of the tree and takes the we control noise to make this look aesthetic so we first the first noise that i apply is called noise amp and the noise amp will tell me what size of the tree. So if the noise amp is large, then it will create a lot of uh, dots in random, uh, in uniform random distribution along all the axes, but that will make it thicker. So it makes the tree thicker. So we don't do any sophisticated algebra to make this thicker beside applying the noise with different amplitude. And as long as uh, as a height goes, then we start to decrease the noise amp, so we get uh, thinner branches. 
at the end. And we have here another noise, and this noise is what you see here. It's an incremental noise, which means that it's not one noise that happens when you point every time, but it's a noise that is incremental. So every new step, we add noise to the previous noise. So that becomes a stochastic process, so it moves and starts to grow the noise. Uh, that's uh, so, so basically you can look a bit deeper on this code, which you can see that it's very easy, and 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 play with it or experiment with it, change it, make it uh, more interesting than that. And uh, you can see also that uh, we have some way to control these parameters that I told you here. Last thing I think I didn't mention is here the breathing. So you can see that the tree can move, but the small, um, but the small branches at the top move faster, and that gives us kind of feeling that something is happening, which is expressions that I apply on the matrix. And if I increase, for example, the amplitude a lot, uh, you can start see it. You see, so the functions applies only at the end of the of the uh, of the matrix so only on so more on the top part and the narrow branches which at the end I hope you enjoy this and see you next time <laughs>